PT is my 32 foot Thomas Flatno school bus with a diesel Cummins engine. She's 2002. She's white on the outside with peach stripes down the front and the sides. Well, I've always wanted to have like a traveling vehicle. A school bus kind of just came up when I was looking around at buses and vans. And then I heard that school bus was kind of the best blank slate that you could get. Um, easiest thing to start on. They have really good motors, they run forever, and you don't have to like spend your money on living. You get to just like spend your money on living. <laughs> I just need small and that's it. Just living within my means, I mean, I'm not living outside of that. I parked on a farm about two minutes from my parents' house in Kelowna. So I'm able to work on it there. It's secure. Um, I've got lots of room, I've got power. So that's a really good thing. It's awesome. I got this bus off Craigslist a year and a half ago. Got it for 5000 The first conversion I put about 5000 in. So that was, yeah whole thing done for 10,000 and then now I've just started ripping it out and redoing it because of mold and mice. <laughs> it needed to be revamped, redone. The walls were also beadboard which is like glorified cardboard so I had to redo them and I did these pine walls which um, are a bit nicer for uh, keeping everything tidy. There's also spray foam behind all the walls. No animals get in with spray foam as well because it can cover like every nook and cranny. And a lot is more doable than people think. A lot of people, they don't think that it's possible for them to be, build stuff, but honestly, I have no building experience and I've figured it out. I guess it looks more achievable online. So you're like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> All DIYs look like that, but it's totally doable. It is doable. Um, just takes like some hunkering down and really get into it. So we had Chloe, Brayden, Christy, and Jessica come help um, on the build, which is awesome. Oh my god, it's so cute! Oh, shower. It's always nice and motivating having more, more hands. They're really artistic and they do some really awesome stuff, so I was really happy. What if you did this, like, take... Here, I have like a sheet outside in my hammer. Peachy is definitely a representation of me, um, and I just look at things and I want them to be perfect, so there's always stuff that can go on forever. Uh, like even when it's finished and a complete build, I'll probably see something and want to refix that or add something. Um, but for, for make it livable, um, I, don't th I don't see it taking too long. After every like hump, there's like a very big satisfaction. Realizing that, okay, I finished framing, now I know how to frame. Every milestone is, is definitely an achievement. It feels really good to kind of like take it off the list. Down, it'll probably pull it flat. It will. It'll, it'll suck to the wood. Yeah. Okay, so we get that face plate on? Mm hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. But we failed math. It's only like an inch or two more, really. But we gotta make sure we. Okay, but that doesn't make sense because this is three and a half. So three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half. I must have got that wrong, that's why. Bro, 
What do you think? Yeah. I like you can it. sand it. Yeah. You can't see anything. Like, don't look real shit. Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> See if you can fit it in. Oh, that's not bad. I don't get how people have like a plan and then it looks like that when it's finished. My, it was funny when I first drew my like floor plan, I drew this like wide, probably like 20 foot wide bus and like maybe 10 feet long and I drew like a massive queen bed and then some chairs and my dad's like, that's not to scale. <laughs> they drew this like little French fry and was like, okay, now add your stuff in. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a little bit different. <laughs> it's pretty crazy the amount of stuff that just kept keeps building and even now when I'm building it, like when I was doing the renovations, I was like, I'll just build one wall and that'd be it. And then one wall turned into two and two walls turned into like, yeah, it's just ongoing, yeah. Anything, if you really put your mind to it, you can, it's achievable. Just um, depends on how much time and effort you want to put into it. So where are we going now? To get a piece of live edge. Ew. His name is Wade. Mm -hmm. Wade's Wood, I think, I think it's actually his name. The pieces that he has are really, really nice. And he does some really good work with them too. That's his house. I'm just gonna park up here. All right, let's do it. I can show you some pretty cool woods if you want. The color in this is really cool. Uh, I'm gonna do a coffee table out of this and then I'll probably sell a few pieces just as is. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> this tree is probably right around 100 years old, and elm usually don't live to be over about 65 in the Okanagan. This one is a walnut tree I got from um, Peachland. That's so nice. It's pretty cool, yeah. The colors really come out when you pour the water on, so it gives Whoa. you a pretty good idea, right? What you're that one's really afterwards. different. That mm. one's so neat. Wow, that one's such a cool piece. It's awesome, yeah. Whoa! It, it's so neat because that just, one has the black all in it by itself. You never know what it's going to look like until you start cutting the Whoa, tree. Whoa! I want to film this myself. And you get some really cool stuff. So that piece is so cool. <laughs> I really like this piece. It's a pretty cool piece, right? And it I does, can totally epoxy like black into here. Absolutely, yeah. All these cracks, I'd fill them all with epoxy and then just sand it down. But a lot of the work's already done, right? And so then, nice. And then this one, like I said, the underside is still rough. Okay. So. You can leave that the way it is, or that can be finished, but that gives you an idea of what it looks like before it's planed, right? Right, cool. And do you want it right at 91, exactly 91? Yeah, because that finishes the end of the window, so it would look nice if it come up to all three windows. Okay. Because the end of the window, I think, would be another, like, and then that would just be a massive chunk of wood. That'd so. be a big piece for sure, right? No, I like this piece, and this is Douglas fir. Douglas fir, yeah. yeah. Gives you a lot of options, right, for sure, and it'll be fun to play with the color and stuff in that. And this tree came from about four blocks away from here. Yeah, that's cool. That's <laughs> super neat. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay, sweet. I'll um, keep in touch then. Okay. Yeah, seeing the grain and, and seeing a tree. When you look at a live edge piece, it looks like a tree. It doesn't look like um, a table, a chair, whatever it was. So I think that's really nice. It's hard to see two by fours and connect with how many trees that you've used for that two by four. But when you see this piece of wood, um, you can really connect with how much you're using. I'm really into zero waste or producing as little waste as I can. I mean, it's hard when you're building stuff, you have to get rid of stuff and you have to acquire things. I tried to build with as much reused materials as I could. So once the bus is all finished, I'll try to, try to live more consciously and yeah, it'll be a 
a little bit of an outlet, the bus, to the way I want to live. Well, I think it should be important to everyone. Um, there's so much more that we can do to help. Um, there's so much waste that's being produced every day and everyone's producing at least a full garbage can every single week. So that's insane, um, the amount of garbage. Like when I go to the landfill in Kelowna, they've already relocated once. And it's, it's really an eye opener when you go to the dump and you see all these materials that you can be used um, and recycled. And yeah, it's really neat to be able to maybe take the extra time to make that material work in your world. It's weird because I don't feel like it's done. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, I'll come here um, and want to do stuff, but they'll be so minimal. Like, putting up the curtains, I just imagined it to take all day, and it took me like 10 minutes. <laughs> And then like the hammock, I thought that was gonna take me all day, but I mean, it took so, it was so quick. So yeah, it's just, it's good. It feels nice to be able to like have my life back almost, like be able to do sports and go out and do stuff. I mean, cause this is like a full-time job. I was here like every day, all day until it was finished, so. So this is the, like the sitting, hanging out area. All the cushions are like either hand-me-downs or thrifted, all the pillows and, the fabric's all thrifted. And then this can slide out into a bed. So this is a little shelf that I built just to have some books. And um, this hammock I just installed a little bit ago. Um, and it seems to hold really well. <laughs> and this is the live edge. This is my kitchen area and my cooking. This is uh, my little fridge that I have. I don't have solar just yet, so whenever I'm hooked in, um, I just run the fridge. This is my stove. Um, I got this with the bus, and then I just decided to paint it. Um, so yeah, it's a propane stove, and the propane's just under the bottom. Yeah, this cupboard, I like the way it turned out, and then I have just this little string, so nothing tips out. This is my sink. I just drained my sink down to the ground, and it just the water just goes out. So I use um, natural soaps if I'm going to use the sink. And just some cups, and then in this cupboard is where I put all my food. Um, it's like a little pantry. This one is my closet. So I just got this little macrame piece to hold as a door. Have all my clothes on the top and then I have my socks and everything down there. Yeah, so this is my wood stove. Um, a lady ordered it in from Sweden and then she just wanted to sell it, so. Coming over here, this is my shower. This one is an old horse trough. Um, that I got and I put a drain in the bottom of it. Um, this also just drains into the ground as well. Um, so you just have to be careful with what soap you use. Yeah, and this is my um, double bed that can also lift up. So that is how it goes up with some pure muscle. <laughs> I mean, you're always gonna be working on it. Um, there's still lots of outside stuff I have to do to it that's um, gotta fix some rust spots and then clean some batteries and just like engine stuff. So I still have to do, it's, it's always gonna be stuff to do, but it's not, um, it's not urgent right now. I mean, like, it's just more relaxing, I guess. Um, seeing everything start to look like a home and have all my stuff back in here, it's really nice. I think it's just come together so nicely. I'm taking a little vacation away, um, but then when I come back, I plan a little trip, but I'm not sure where and for how long, but yeah, hopefully somewhere down, somewhere down south. <laughs> I think people want to travel and it's getting a little bit more um, expensive now for housing and stuff to be able to take trips, so I think um, this way is definitely the way if you want to travel and you want to see stuff, but you also want to not be broke. <laughs> My favorite thing is waking up to a new place every day. So that's really cool. To be able to wake up somewhere completely new or you're driving somewhere 
and you park up and it's dark, you don't know what anything looks like, and then in the morning you just see this amazing view or a lake or something crazy. So. Yeah, it's just this like whole new world of this life that I've sort of like created. So it's really neat to um, be able to like grow. Um, just realizing that I'm gonna have it for a long, long time and yeah, it's really neat.